Okay, guys, welcome back to Jack in the Middle. War Robots has gotten an update just today, version 3.8. Um, so I'm going to try to break this with you guys. And let's check out what is new for War Robots 3.8. Um, I did read about it before, but I forgot some of the things. And it's a laundry list of things that we're supposed to get. We're going to go into game after we read this here and um and see if how much has been implemented already usually when an update comes out for smoother flow what they usually do is um update the game over the next week or so and um if you are on android usually for us android users we get the update before ios does so um for the ios people they're getting a sneak peek of what's to come for their update um we have uh, map the carrier so we have a new map it's called the carrier a huge craft floating in the ocean beware of the water um we have uh that should be interesting i hope that's there we have a new robot called the raven it has a double jump to change direction and avoid attacks okay uh, we have a new weapon uh, it looks like a few new weapons first one is up first up is the ballista it's a medium alternative to the trebuchet. All right. Uh, it should be interesting to see that in action. Uh, weapon, the Flux Gecko's Big Brother. Get ready for the disco party. All right. Um, we have an event. War Robots turn four. So happy birthday, War Robots. Congratulations. War, War, War Robots is four years old now. Join in for presents and awesome prizes. This couldn't hit me at a worse time because I was really planning on doing a lot of stuff for you guys and also there's a lot of a lot of things going on in my actual personal life right now so um i don't know how much i'm going to be able to participate in this upcoming event if if it in fact there is an event when i when i when i log in um event mode skirmish and um we'll see what that is it says hangar x in um matchmaking basically so ha mm is matchmaking hangar x in global matchmaking and there's a new event mode called called skirmish i think that's a free for all well nope no it says there's a mode called free for all it says put your skills to the test against the best so we're gonna go in we're gonna look at it for the first time i'm gonna look at it for the first time here with you we're gonna see how much of this is being implemented um royal tokens save your goal and spend tokens instead of war robot instead in war robot royal all right so without any further ado let's go over to war robots and let's see how much of this stuff has been implemented here we go we're logging in I'm very excited for some of these changes, especially they said um, they are going to fix how matchmaking works. Yes, definitely update. The screen has changed. The home screen has changed. Um, so I was definitely worried about matchmaking. They said they're going to be doing a lot to try to fix matchmaking. So I want to see, really want to see what has been done with that. I actually have... Um, about four videos a couple more videos but four videos that i probably will release to the public that were done previously to 3.8 coming out and one of them had to do with the the dilemma of matchmaking okay so let's see if we could remember that there's talk going on in the squad already let's see if we could um remember what let's go ahead and check over here see if there is in fact an event if there is an event, it will show up in tasks. No, there is. Uh, so there's nothing showing up in tasks right now. Again, I guess that is to come. Maybe they will release everything at one time when, when iOS gets the full update also. Um, so, all right. So nothing in tasks. Um, pretty much what what was there was the, the task or daily task that was shown in the, in the background. If you want, um, I'll cut away. So this is or um my, my task menu here. It's just, just basically daily tasks. Alright, so so what do we have here? Okay, so the background has definitely changed. Alright. Um 
they were right with the disco party. Let's um, let's look at matchmaking. So if we go to battle, okay. So there, we, there we have it. We have a new battle mode, free for all. And um, I guess we'll run probably run that at the end of the video, free for all. See how we do. We'll go in there and run that. So, but before we do that, let's go into the squad menu. We're gonna go custom game, and we are going to go to the map. Let's uh, let's pick, let's pick um team deathmatch. So there's no beacons, and let's see if it is here. Yamoto Moon Carrier. There is the carrier, guys. So, you know, so we're gonna go in and pick the carrier, and we're gonna go into fight. Um, I think I will show you guys also, if you guys are wondering what is um. The um, I forgot the name that they use for it, but basically um, we have we have another option here. So here, let's let me go from A further back, and this would be my hanger. But where you see the pics on it logo, this is a um, it's like a loner hanger that they that they allow us to have. Um, let's use the pursuer because we could probably get around a little bit quicker with the pursuer. All right, so let's look around. Oh, okay, all right, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me cut away, and I will jump back in. Okay, so I decided to go King of the Hill this time. Um, that should give us uh, entire uh, entire ten minutes to to run this thing. All right. So here we are at the top deck of one side of the carrier. Let's go ahead, and um, I guess so. The first thing we'll probably do we'll just go ahead and run straight across and see what the carrier looks like. And a custom hanger, I believe that's what they call it, the custom hanger. Custom hanger is basically a bomb robots or some of the newer robots or even just some of the some of the better builds in the game that the, the warp robots community they we come together and we decide um on you know what robots and what builds to, to put in the custom hanger and it's like a free-for-all that everybody could try in the custom game mode to you know kind of like a try it before you buy it type thing see what it what it's going to look like what's going on what it's going to be all right so here we are on this side. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. We'll probably, we'll probably look. There's a little ledge right here, so let's go over. Let's go up, go up on the ledge and take a look around, so we can see what's hanging over on the outside here. All right, so it looks like uh, uh, one of those Avengers um, spaceship thing but we are actually sitting in the ocean with those big um, spinning blades all right let's uh, go ahead and drop down don't think there's anything behind here all right nope okay all right so all right so it is a real ship with you can see the steer wheel we have this under passage here, these, these little steer wells leading upstairs for actual human human passengers, right? Um, go ahead and run across. Take a look down here. All right. Yeah, so I have a new recorder. I'm very proud of it. Um, it really reduces the lag and it's still is picking up the sound and everything. So I, I'm hoping that. I could start bringing you guys War Robots gameplay again. The big problem I was having was that the, the old recorder I was using, the YouTube gaming recorder, was um, was 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 producing, sorry, was producing a lot of lag. I hope you guys can hear me okay. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and run back down on this side here, and um, it should be the same thing. Let's let's see. I don't know if we missed this on the other side. I think I was trying to show you the steps. But um, they have this little thing over here on this side. It looks like there's one on the other side also. Exact, so it's it's an exact exact replica, you know, from one side to the other. It seems. Right, okay, and right here we have this uh, little thing here. Bring ourselves back up top. 
okay and it's all right so you it's good to kind of check out the map know the map a little bit for gameplay because you there, there are potential potential traps some places let's go ahead speaking of traps let's go back here and look there's a way up this way but let's see if there's a way up behind from behind here yes there is all right there's a way up from back here all right so let's go ahead and we're gonna exit out of the map here uh, I wonder if we're able to fall off the map Okay, all right. So uh, we did fall off the map. And look, uh, did, we, did we spend ten minutes doing that? Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. All right. So let's hurry up. Let's see what else we have new. Um, they have some new weapons. All right. We just rem remembered about that. Let's go ahead and check out the weapons. So um, there's a heavy weapon. Who who's the best guy to use? Actually, so the Inquisitor might be the best guy to use for this. Um, Check out the heavy weapon first. There is a no. Okay, let's go to the store. Okay, so this is the new flux. The flux long range energy weapon that burns enemies with a high powered laser beam. Um, level of damage is persistent and does not depend on distance a uh, good choice for anyone who prefers to keep enemies at a distance slot heavy damage type energy ignores energy shields uh direct and manual and uh, we, have, we have some other weapons that they have introduced also the thermite um the redeemer tempest is, is fairly new the ember dragoon um fairly new and then some of the rest all right Let's check out the medium weapon slot. Slot. Oh, we gotta go to the store again. Ion is fairly new. Vortex, but the ballista, I think, is what they were trying to feature for us. Um, ballista long range plasma weapon with a charging system. The more charges the weapon accumulates, the more damage it deals. Okay, and they said this is kind of um, reminiscent. What what weapon? What weapon did they say this is kind of like? The slot, the damage, energy, ignores energy shields, direct, and it's manual charge up. The ballista. I um I forgot this. What what weapon this this duplicates um. Is, is is all right guys <laughs> let's, let me just leave that and uh and go on so um so, all right so apparently the video is pretty long already and i still actually do want to run a match with you guys so um th oh, they do have they had a new robot also the raven so let's let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and check that out we'll do that one more thing to the store Okay. Let's go. Good old Rogat Gadir. It's good old Jesse. Big boy Fury. That's the big boy Doc. Or uh, no, that that was um. What is his name? The Butch. It's big boy Butch. These are some new robots we have. The Hellburner. The pursuer you guys just saw us use inquisitor i've i've gotten the inquisitor also you guys haven't been around for a while these are some new bots in the game mercury strider all right that the dash bots you guys are probably familiar with by this point um and okay and here we have the raven all right so this raven here let's see ba -ba -bam. raven tough yet rather mobile thanks to its special ability this bot possesses two medium and two light slots and offer excellent customization possibilities double jump raven can make two jumps in a chosen direction special jump engine allows raven to make 
next jump while still in the air. Cool down 20 seconds per charge, two charges maximum. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the 3D view. Okay, she is not pretty to look at, but I'm sure she's going to be very dangerous. I'm gonna check out some of the paint jobs. Okay, no paint jobs available for the Raven as yet. It's going to be as is. All right. All right, so let's go. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go ahead on and run a battle. I'll most likely be quiet while the battle is running and um, just uh, try to do my best for you guys. All right, uh, we are going to, however, try the free-for-all mode. Um, so let's see. Random mode offer, now offers us Domination, Beacon Rush, Team Deathmatch, and King of the Hill. Okay, so we have four four modes in one there let's try the new free-for-all i have been waiting for this all right so wish me luck guys, and um i'll see you on the other side bye bye thanks for joining me please subscribe if you're new to the channel and like the video if you do if you don't please let me know why you don't like the video all right guys you guys be blessed here we go they're all red guys So he's my first enemy here. And he, he's targeting me, so I'm gonna go at him. Oh, and there's somebody behind me, guys. I'm getting targeted from both directions, guys. All right, I was spiral. Quick repair or change your butt. Let's uh, let's see what we could do with the Fuji. Go ahead and unlock in. We got a target right here. This seems to be a good way to go about it. Alright, I got that kill. Now here's another guy within my range. I'm gonna try to go at him. Another guy there. Another guy there. Let's stick with this guy over here, though.
Did you guys just hear that? I think it called me King.
All right, so that was it, guys. Thank you for the look. Um, I think we did pretty well. Okay, we got um, about nine gold. All right, well, so if we got nine gold, um, let's see how much the the king got. All right, um, so he got ten. I got three gold. I got nine total, and um, he got ten. All right, all right. So um, that that's not bad. Uh, I guess we're probably gonna get lots more of this kind of type of gameplay. Um, all right, <laughs> that's a little bit nerve wracking. All right, so uh, let me go I'll show you. Um, you guys saw my hanger. You saw what I was working with. Um, I guess let me. I could probably go to the hanger, give you a quick look at my actual guns and everything. What I what I what I have currently set up. Um. Are you enjoying the game? Give me a quick second, guys. I, I have to let them know I do. Okay, all right. So I'm back. And here is the hanger. All right, guys. So thank you very much for joining me. That's it. Please subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Drop them, drop them, drop them.